Greetings and welcome to Kashmir University's weekly video magazine Quest. This week's Quest highlights. A day-long workshop on census held. Department of Statistics organizes one-day seminar. EMMRC holds orientation meeting with e-content experts. And Kumsa cricket team felicitated. Now the details of these events with your host today, Muhammad Fahimul Islam. Department of Economics, in collaboration with the Directorate of Census Operations, JNK, held one-day workshop on Census 2011. The workshop was held in the Gandhi Bhavan Auditorium. Head Department of Economics, Professor GM Butt, in his inaugural address said that for prospective planning, inputs provided by periodical census data are a must. Now, unless and until we don't get the information which has been there in the past, it is not possible for us to go for future planning. So for that perspective planning, it is a must that we must have the inputs in the form of feedback, in the form of the information regarding certain indicators like the demographic features, the information on the demographic features, the information on social indicators, the information regarding economic indicators. When we have all the information regarding all these indicators that makes it possible for the policy and planners to make changes, to go for certain changes in going for the right direction for the overall development of the people. Former Dean Social Science Professor Dost Muhammad, who was the chief guest on the occasion, said that the use of census data is important for the overall developmental process. Professor Dost Muhammad said that the census is most reliable because of being comprehensive and periodical. All countries go for census because you need to have information about the people, about the developments which take place within a particular area. And if we look at its macroeconomic contribution, we begin with the rate of economic growth. See, rate of economic growth is greatly influenced by availability of data. If you don't have information about your own people, you cannot plan. You cannot provide goods and services which enter into the process of economic growth. You have public goods, you have electricity, you have water supply, you have roads, you have health care, you have education. And for all that you need data. You need to know how many People are there for whom you have to provide the services. Not only at present, but in future as well. Dean Social Sciences Professor M. Ivani emphasized the need of data collection for testing social theories. What changes have taken place, whether change is drastic or change is slow, for that also we need, we need, uh, we need data. So data in, for social scientists, for testing the theories, or for making a scientific study, data is very important. And today, I am a student of history. Quantitative history has become a very important. And students of history are asked that while well, you have to you know, seek or um, in, uh, get insights from different social scientists, you have at the same time also uh, learn statistical methods of you know, approaching the social sciences, including history. 
Joint Director Census Department Mr. C. A. Safru said that census allows policymakers the flexibility of planning things. Now, position as on today is that we have priced publications, and people are voluntarily uh, purchasing them. They are hungry about census data because census data forms the basis of planning. It is on the basis of census data that resources are allocated to states, to different ministries. On the basis of census 2011 data, resource allocation by planning commission has strictly been made in accordance with the district level data, tehsil level data, so that there is a harmonious and balanced development of all the sectors in the state. After the inaugural session, presentations regarding different findings of Census 2011 were delivered by the Directorate of Census Operations (JNK). <music> Department of Statistics organized a day-long seminar on awareness about official statistics in India. The function was held in collaboration with National Academy of Statistical Administration. Central Statistics Office and Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. The function was held in the media auditorium. Speaking on the occasion, Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed suggested scholars and academicians to equip themselves with the modern statistical methods. No country can progress till we have a system where we know what we have and what we don't, and how much we have and. Uh, 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 where we are lacking, and uh, that will definitely uh, allow you to do better management and better modeling, and uh, make future uh, course of action for any uh, unit, whether it is a university or a country. So statistics is very important. Uh, statistical method and uh, the statistical approach is going to be one of the. very important component which all the research scholars have to know professor talat said that only when statistical data is available one can arrive on correct decisions earlier we used to do everything manually by hand making plots of rock samples rock chemistry now we do it uh, using computer programs okay so things have become much easier but at the same time more accurate if you use the right statistical methods for your research and for your planning dean academic affairs professor am shah told the audience that if researchers are not aware of statistics they will not be able to collect data and interpret that correctly we believe that the research methodology in the phd or mphil program is so important because once your research methodology or sample is uh, is is designed properly virtually your hawk research work is done so the significance of the subject in research the significance of uh, this subject in the development because you if you are not able to uh, carry out the correct figures the development process process cannot be taken decisions cannot be taken similarly in management we say because if we are not able to collect data and interpret data in a proper manner a manager can never take the correct decision deputy director national academy of statistical administration dr devinder singh delineated the purpose of organizing such seminars the first purpose is to make aware the student from statistics the opportunities available to come over to official statistical system Uh, in this regard uh, i my i have uh, my own experience way back in uh, late 90s we had a discussion with the ugc for opening more uh, post graduate level programs in universities uh, for the statistics and the response from ugc was so poor that they say that they have already so many places the statistics post graduation and they are not getting enough student but last 10 years situation has completely changed uh, now the statistic graduate are sought after not only in official systems but all across this uh, other sectors maybe it boom has come up the clinical trials in the health sector has come up surveys requirement has come up and private sectors demand have statisticians has gone up head department of statistics professor akil ahmed conducted the proceedings of the seminar this statistical unit of the university must have some collaboration some kind of guidance from the statistics department 
for the last many years we have never been consulted so that requires some kind of change in the system of the university and i assure you that once this system is okay you will not meet with many untoward situations like we are just matching in the last week we have been facing this kind of problem so if any state or any country has to improve the statistical system has to improve Kashmir University Ministerial Staff Association won the All India Vice Chancellors T20 Cricket Cup. All the matches of T20 were played in the Jammu University Cricket Ground. It was the second time in succession that the Kumsa has won this trophy. The university felicitated the winning team for their performance. Congratulating the players for their performance, University's Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed said that he wants others also to take part in extracurricular activities. आप लोगों को जो talents हैं मुझे लगता है कि काफी अच्छी यहाँ पे coaching भी हुई है और काफी आप लोगों ने मेहनत की है because ये tournament बहुत ही competitive था इतनी सारी टीमें आई हुई थी सारे हिंदुस्तान से तो उसमें कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी जो कि दूसरे यूनिवर्सिटीज के लिहाज से बहुत छोटी है तब भी उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा मुजाहरा किया और अपने विन, जो विनिंग स्प्री था उसे रखा और लास्ट ईयर भी विनर हुए और इस साल भी विनर हुए मैं आप सबों को बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद देता हूँ इसके लिए आप लोगों से मेरी गुजारिश है कि जितना मेहनत से आपने ये ट्रॉफी लाया है उतनी ही मेहनत अपने जॉब में भी करें जो आप आपका काम हो वो बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि हर इंसान का चाहे वो वाइस चांसलर हो यूनिवर्सिटी में या एक छोटा कर्मचारी हो सभी की अपनी एक हैसियत है और उनके काम की इम्पोर्टेंस है अगर कोई भी एक आदमी अपना काम नहीं करेगा ठीक से तो वो सारे सिस्टम में प्रॉब्लम आती है रजिस्ट्रा प्रोफेसर जफर अहमद रिशी सैद दट ही होप्स कुम सा विल कंटिन्यू टू विन मोर ट्रॉफीज I again congratulate the winning team. I hope uh, they bring uh, several more medals actually to our university, and uh, they have set an example for everybody, isn't it, in the university that if they go out, they have actually to get medals, isn't it? Because we are sending teams outside because and then uh, they are not getting the medals. We wish that they get also medals and taking cue from the Kumsa team, isn't it? I congratulate the team captain. Uh, it must be his effort and i see very bright faces i hope that you do better than what you have been doing so far and then i congratulate the team management team uh, and the, all the players and i hope uh, that we will be continuously uh, providing <coughs> support to do better not only in the extracurricular activities but in the job that is basically you are supposed to do president kumsa mr gulam jilani thanked the university vice chancellor for his support दिल की उम्मीद गहराइयों से मुबारकबाद पेश करता हूं। मेरे लिए खुशी का मौका है कि पिछले साल भी 2011 में जब कुमसा की क्रिकेट टीम जनाब वाइस चांसलर साहब की जेर सरपरस्ती नई दहली खेलने के लिए गई तो वहां भी वो जामिया मिलिया इस्लामिया के क्रिकेट ग्राउंड में फतेह का झंडा गाड़ के आई और इस साल दोबारा जब हमारे वाइस चांसलर साहब की सरपरस्ती में कुमसा की क्रिकेट टीम 2012 के ऑल इंडिया वाइस चांसलर टी ट्वेंटी कप टूर्नामेंट के लिए जम्मू यूनिवर्सिटी खेलने के लिए चली गई तो खुदा के फजल करम से और टीम की मेहनत और काबी से टीम स्प्रिट से डिसप्लिन से आज इन्होंने दोबारा ऑल इंडिया टी ट्वेंटी कप टूर्नामेंट में फतेह का झंडा गाड़ दिया लेटर क्वेस्ट टीम स्पोक टू दी विनिंग कैप्टन एंड दिस इज वॉट ही हैड टू से एक्चुअली क्या है कि जो पिछले साल भी हमने ये कप जीता आज भी इस साल भी हमने ये टी ट्वेंटी वाइस चांसलर कप जीता 
इसमें एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन भी में भी काफी हाथ है वॉइसर साहब रजिस्टार साहब हमारे कुंसा प्रेसिडेंट हमारी मैनेजमेंट काफी सपोर्ट करती है उसी की वजह से ये सब होता है एक्चुअली अगर मैनेजमेंट या हमारे मतलब एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हमें सपोर्ट नहीं करेगी तो मुझे नहीं लगता है कि हम फाइनल जीत पाएंगे Educational Multimedia Research Center held a day-long orientation course meeting for the e-content experts of sociology, food technology and Urdu. The orientation course meeting was held in the auditorium. More than 60 e-content experts from university and various colleges of the valley took part in the orientation course. Welcoming the participants, e-content consultant Mr. Farooq Ahmed Lone appraised them about the utility of e-content modules. We have quiz are multiple choice questions as in objective type we are asking a question and then giving four answers one answer is correct a student is after going through this whole uh, lesson he is sitting on the computer he now hits question number 1 uh, has b answer to c answer at the end of the lesson we give the key of uh, this uh, multiple choice questions he can understand there the student can understand there how many marks has scored how many good uh, rightly uh, right questions has uh, attempted and that will give him some kind of confidence or if he feels that i have not uh, done well he can revert back to the lesson and find out the answers explaining the importance of e content modules the director emmrc dr shahid rasool informed the participants that e content modules are designed to meet the new challenges in education the ministry of human resource and development thought that with traditional mode of teaching and learning establishing new industries and new colleges may not help them to increase the gross enrollment ratio so they devised this scheme of national mission for education through ict information communication and technology that today this small mobile device is available even in the villages which don't have electricity and this mobile device can help a student to get access to resources or sources of knowledge wherever they are so we are planning for that we are trying to contribute towards that society where knowledge is available to all and those who have this knowledge will have access to the students irrespective of whether they are enrolled with them or not these digital natives find it more convenient to learn with the help of the technology so a teacher will remain relevant to the students in future only if he is also conversant if he is also comfortable with that technology dr anisa shafi professor majid muzmar and professor f a masudi also spoke on the occasion EMMRC has provided us this wonderful opportunity and viable platform where at least we can show what we are we can show our talent we can show our potential we can show our capacity which otherwise we are not uh, getting a chance to exhibit and uh, we definitely have to show the world that uh, on the, since we are coming this way on the national scene we are coming on the national platform where we are putting ourselves to the critical analysis and that is definitely giving us a way to improve ourselves also hyderabad aur phir jana milia islamia do mein ye program chal raha hai aur yahan inhone hamari liya le aaza ek challenge bhi hai aur khushi ki baat bhi hai aur mujhe ummeed hai ki hum apna metal prove kar sakte hain compete karna hai hame hyderabad ke sath compete karna hai hame jnu ke sath hyderabad to mujhe bahut aasan lagta hai lekin bahrain jana milia islamia khaas taur par unke sath compete karna hai और बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट जो है वो हमारे सेंटर को दे दिया गया है बाकी दो जो हैं वो हैदराबाद और जाम मिलिया इस्लामिया को मुझे नहीं मालूम कि उन्होंने शुरू किया या नहीं लेकिन ऐसा लगता है कि हम जब शुरू कर लेंगे तो ये शायद मॉडल बन जाए फिर इस तरह के प्रोग्राम्स के लिए वेन एवर वी आर इंट्रैक्टिंग विथ अवर स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास रूम विथ अ स्मॉल ग्रुप इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन टीचर एंड अ स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स बी थर्टी फोर्टी और समटाइम्स इट मे गो वी नॉट हंड्रेड our weaknesses get revealed only to those hundred at the same time our strengths get exposed or only those hundred people they know about our strengths but once 
we enter into this type of activity, perform this type of activity, our weaknesses as well as the strengths, they get disseminated at least all over country. So we have to be very careful while formulating all these things. You have to look at each and every dimension of this unique academic activity. For the past three years, EMMRC has been focusing on e-content development of botany for undergraduate students. And during these years, the center has successfully completed e-content modules for the first and second year students. NME ICT has now given the center responsibility to make e-content modules in other subjects that include pharmacy, food technology, law and Urdu. That's all we have for you in today's program. Log on to emmrckashmir.com to see all the latest episodes of Quest. You can always send us your valuable suggestions and feedback at quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. Banality is the adopted disguise of a very powerful will to abolish conscience.